This is the Zowie S2, an ambidextrous mouse with a hump towards the back. It weighs about 86 grams and is plastic all over with a glossy coating, which provides very good grip for dry hands but is slippery for sweaty hands. Personally, I didn't like the glossy coating so I rubbed it off with the rough side of a sponge and this is what it looks like. Now it feels like a slight rubber coating and it feels great whether my hands are dry or sweaty. The left and right buttons are light and responsive, which are much improved from the FK, and the side buttons are a little stiff, but they're still decent. The scroll wheel is terrible, I'm not sure why Zowie is putting these on their mice. It's fairly easy to click in, which is good, and the steps are very defined, but scrolling feels extremely slow and sluggish, and in my opinion, it's almost unusable for browsing. It also has an unpleasant sound, and overall, it's my least favorite part about the mouse. And I hope Zowie uses different scroll wheels in the future. Anyways, here's a sound test of the buttons. The cable was disappointing, it's a rubber cable that's thicker and heavier than I'd like, and I could feel it dragging when playing. Most people will probably be okay with it, but personally, after getting used to wireless mice and paracords, I couldn't play properly with it. So I replaced it with a paracord. The cable on this mouse is really easy to replace, and it also comes with replacement feet, which is awesome, I wish more companies included extra feet. Speaking of the feet, they glide smoothly, and I have no complaints. The sensor is a 3360, which is one of the best sensors available, so no complaints there either. As usual with Zowie mice, there's no software so the controls are on the bottom of the mouse, where you can change the polling rate up to 1000Hz, and the DPI from 400, 800, 1600, and 3200. Personally, I would like to see Zowie make optional software, mainly for people who want to use a DPI setting outside of the 4 default steps. Overall, it's a very good mouse and after rubbing off the glossy coating and replacing the cable, it's definitely one of my favorite mice, because the shape fits my hand size and grip style almost perfectly. The only things I would change about it are the scroll wheel, the cable, make the side buttons lighter, and possibly make the mouse lighter. If you use a claw or fingertip grip and you don't mind the scroll wheel, then I highly recommend it. For small to medium hands, get the S2, and for larger hands, get the S1. So that's it for the review, hopefully you enjoyed, if you did feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have any questions or comments leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.